Hey everybody, The Amazing here, bring another review. This time is of the SH Figarts Kamen Rider Laser by Gamer Level 2. And this is Kamen Rider Laser in his Level 2 form, whereas in the show he actually turns into a bike. So if you haven't watched the show, I'm sorry for that tiny spoiler. But this is him as a bike. And this is why he uh, angrily wants to achieve the next level, because being a bike makes him semi-useless. Except for, you know, transportation. So anyway, let's get started. The bike is actually really nice. Um, this was actually a great different motif. Um, it gives you a person who is actually a bike, which is really dope. So what they did was they were able to change the body enough so that you can see this in the belt. So that way you can see him actually change form from his level one to level two. The face actually changes to here. And it's molded actually pretty perfectly. I think that they nailed it in every which way in the bike format including the, the gamer driver actually being on him. And you can still actually move it, just like in the show. And it comes with two, fall, um, two actually gamer drivers. This one is actually for when a person is riding him, or X8 is riding him, because that's the only one that actually rode him. So this is when X8 rides him. And then you have the normal larger one. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference, but one is larger than the other for when he is by himself and it just it's on him, so it's much larger. So you can see it fits on there. Just fine. You can actually take out the bike or so bike gashat, just like with everything else. Which is really cool. It, oop, sorry about that. The only thing is he and he still has his finisher slot, but it's too small for you to actually put anything in there. So you can't do the the bike or so bike in the finisher slot. So you can't do the Kimewaza. So that's the only drawback to that. Otherwise, it's actually molded pretty perfectly. You can still remove the gamer driver. You can turn left and turn right. The wheels actually move because, yes, it's a bike. And you still get the absorption shocks at the end, which is something I regularly enjoy on the Kamen Rider bikes because I actually have lots of fun with these. I really enjoy the bikes a lot. So the fact that a character was a bike actually made the bikes, well, not the bikes, but it made this bike really important. Like all bikes, it comes with its stand. So that way, when you want to stand straight up and act like you're actually vroom vrooming away, you can actually do that very easily. What he also comes with, with the kickstand movable and the new gamer, oh, the partial gamer driver, is that you actually get a Tamashi stage act to attach under him, which snaps under. I have a Tamashi stage here, so that makes it useful. That you can attach, so actually you can do aerial bike shots. As you can see here, I gotta move it up. Whoop. So you can see it holds it just fine. The bike is lightweight enough so that it holds him in the air just fine. So with the Tamashi stage piece, it's easily removable. What you're going to do is pull back slightly, and it folds right out. This nice clear piece almost is not even recognizable in photos. Just that the other stand would actually be in the way. Let's move this back down. Voila. The only other thing that he comes with is driving hands for X8. You don't actually get the hands for other characters, because just like in the show, X8 is the only one that actually really rides him. Luckily, the other comrade still comes with hands that still work just fine. You can also use these for pointing fingers so you can point at people. X8 actually fits on him perfectly. And to put X8 on, what you have to do is actually remove the edge of the handlebars. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put X8 on. I'm going to remove the gamer driver here. Put the other version on. So we can vroom vroom away. Ooh. Bike a soul bike. I'm a nerd and I love X8. So easily, we just put the hands on, rotate them back. And I don't know why, but my X8 still has really tight joints. Even after some shock oil. But maybe, maybe this is my other one. I don't know. We'll see. So excuse me as I put all, oop, I dropped the hand, y'all. Give me one sec. Dropping hands are bad, y'all. As you can see, the hand flows right on easily. That's not really my issue. And this piece actually goes right back on very easily. My issue mostly is the posing that you have to do after. So for most people, what they do is they kind of give up when they're posing stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pose him real fast because this is going to be a short video. So I feel like I should do a little bit of posing while I'm at it. Board joint adds up. Let's line up these legs perfectly fine. So 
So I know you guys can't really see it, so I'm gonna adjust the camera real fast. Actually, let me put the stage on it first. Cause I wanna make sure this looks cool before we go. So I'm gonna add the stage on, voila. voila thank you guys for being with me but as you can see you can actually still do really cool stuff you can actually be a common rider on your bike and you can balance out it really well so it's not impossible to like do cool things and still have the bike on it so as you can see he looks just cool and just fine it actually works out and it's still lightweight enough to hold up on a tamashi stage without having to tighten it so in the meantime guys i hope you enjoyed hope you found it informative and most of all i hope you enjoy common rider I'm going to continue to post stuff to my like page, like movies and episodes and things like that, just to bring more awareness towards Kamen Rider. And I hope you guys are enjoying that. If not, wait, I tried. In the meantime, be good, do good, drink your water. Later.